Almost everyone jumps straight to one, but that's a huge mistake. Yeah, seriously, the moment someone sees eight divided by one times eight divided by one, their brain goes, oh, inside the bracket, eight divided by one is eight, then multiply by one, that gives eight, and finally eight divided by eight is one. And uh, honestly, I get it. It feels right. It looks clean. It's the kind of speed math your brain does when it thinks the problem is too simple to be dangerous. But that one-step logic is exactly why this expression traps people. Before I break the trick open, hey, real quick, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these strange little math puzzles. It keeps the channel alive and pushes these videos to more math curious folks. All right, let's talk about where the mistake happens. People assume the bracket is automatically a multiplication waiting to happen. So they rush the inside part, get eight divided by one equals eight, and then treat the outside one times eight as simple multiplication. But the moment you jump to addition or multiplication before checking the actual order, that's where things go sideways. So let's slow down and use PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division from left to right, and then addition and subtraction from left to right. And remember this part because it's the most misunderstood detail. Multiplication and division share the same priority. You don't do all multiplication first. You do whichever comes first from left to right. Let's rewrite the expression gently in our heads. Eight divided by one times eight. Step one, do the parentheses. So eight divided by one equals eight. Now the whole expression becomes eight divided by one times eight. Now here's the twist. You do not multiply one times eight first. Division comes first simply because it appears first from the left. So we go eight divided by one equals eight. Now we have eight times eight, and that is 64. So the final answer with full emphasis, the correct answer is 64 not one. Now your turn. If you can prove me wrong, go ahead. The comment section's all yours.